Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A very, very interesting one. One that is mostly interesting because, uh, I mean, it, it's just, it's strange to think of how this picture came to be. I mean, it looks like uh, like these folks over here are, are in the uh, are in the process of uh, clearing out some of this uh, forested area here. Who knows uh, for for what purposes? Could be for a lot of reasons. Uh, probably maybe a building project. Uh, if I would to, were to imagine, maybe a road is going to be coming up here or something uh, something like that. But it's just a strange idea that uh, in this thing, where there's like four people on on this uh, on this excavator here. Eh, it's not really an excavator. It's more like a like a bulldozer or something. And Anyways, on this on this vehicle right here, it's just interesting to think that someone would be like, "Oh yeah, just hold on, let me bust out my uh, let me bust out my camera and take a panorama, one that also includes all the way up to the top of the sky and uh, actually a fairly detailed." And actually, one of the nicest grounds, uh, one of the nicest sort of pictures of the ground in a panorama with, you know, you know, relatively, you know, a pretty seamless enough transition. It's unfortunate that a lot of these pictures uh, that went into this panorama uh, suffer from this blur that's going on. I don't really know what the deal with that is. It's too bad. Uh, but anyways, it just seems like, I just imagine that in your mind, there's you know, a bunch of dudes over here, they're getting, you know, plowing down this uh, forest over here, doing some hard work, and then someone busts out their camera. Oh, no, wait, hold Hold on, let me take a panorama of everything around. It just seems so bizarre to me. But anyways, now it's time for me to guess where I think it is. And I really don't know. I'm going to guess South America. I'm going to guess Southern Brazil is where I'm going to guess. Uh, I have no idea why uh, Southern Brazil seems all right to me. Uh, sort of, okay, there's Florianopolis. Uh, there's Port Alegre. Let's go over here and say... Um, sure, kind of over here near, uh, Lujuyu. Sure, this place right there. Let's make our guess, and wow, couldn't have been for, well, I mean, it could have been further away, technically. Uh, but the answer was Honduras. Oh, wow, that is very cool. Right down in Central America, Honduras, very cool. Right near San Pedro Sula, in, um, sort of this mountainy area near Pinalejo, Pinalejo. Wow, very, very cool indeed. 6,142 kilometers away is what I got. 91 points. Hopefully, some of you guys guessed closer. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge. And you might be wondering why I'm looking straight up in the air. And that's because, well, uh, this this picture that we're in today, it's a still picture. It's it's very it's very funny. And I don't know why I find it so funny. It's just uh well, you know what? Why don't why don't I give you guys the idea of what's going on? So for for whatever reason, uh, all these people here have uh, chosen that they uh, they want to I don't know hold hands in a circle uh, in in this in this wooded area and and this is this is just an incredibly funny I don't know if these people thought this was a, a good idea I mean clearly they did and you know all the power to them uh, they look like a happy bunch uh, this character over here seems to be wearing a Dropkick Murphys t-shirt which is uh, some sort of band I've heard of them before um, I believe I enjoyed one of their songs maybe I don't know I can't think of any of their songs off the top of my head I just remember uh, hearing of them in a positive light before so I'm just that I'm just assuming uh, but anyways this is uh, this is not a it, just uh, me showing off uh, some random picture I found in GeoGuessr. No, this is the daily challenge, and that means that it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think we are. Uh, put your guesses down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world do you think this really uh, nice, foresty, beautiful... I mean, look at, the, look at the wood carving on this building right here. It's also got a very interesting roof. I don't really know what it's made out of, but, I mean, this just... I mean, look at the look at the woodwork on this house. And you don't really hear that very often. Just this, like, the, look at the woodwork on this porch that is a beautiful looking um like with like railing and stuff like that i mean it's very ornate and nice i think uh, this this thing looks great the picture would be a lot better if these people weren't all in the way um i mean even like even this like little fence here see this fence that that's everywhere around i mean it looks very intricate and nice it looks like a great looking place i'd love to go here and hopefully some of you guys know where you could find this so put it down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world do you think this place could be 
Uh, and uh, if you are right, or if you are the closest person in tomorrow's episode, I'm going to make a guess uh, as to where I think it is. And uh, if you were the person who was close, I'll put your name in the comment section of uh, that video. Uh, so, make a guess. Where in the world do you think this awesome forest is? Okie dokie, folks. Here we are in uh, the main section of today's episode, which is uh, the World Challenge. Uh, we're not going to be doing any one of these other challenges. I've already explained my reasons why I don't really like them, and uh, mostly to just go over it quickly. Uh, I don't know what Philadelphia looks like. I don't know what San Francisco looks like. It looks like I don't know what Taiwan looks like. Uh, and, and by that, I mean, I don't know what the regions of Philadelphia looks like. I don't know what the regions of San Francisco look like. I don't know what the regions of Taiwan looks like. When we're in Taiwan, it's fun to make the guess, hey, we are indeed in Taiwan. But when I know we're already in Taiwan, well, then I can see a place, look at it, and say, well, we can pretty much be anywhere. And then I, I just put a random guess on the map. That's why these aren't as fun. It's fun to guess, hey, we are definitely in Taiwan. Uh, and then make the guess correct and, and be right, and that, that's all fun. Uh, so we're going to put three minutes on the, on the clock here and do a nice world challenge. Very excited to do that. Uh, so uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, I want to start a new one, of course. 180 seconds on the clock. Okay, I'm thinking somewhere like uh, Eastern Europe. Somewhere Eastern, I don't know, maybe not. Okay, yeah, the Eastern Europe and or Russia. Um... Can I read that? That's uh, that's like a the, the K. The K is a K. The the the, the this thing is like an an I. No, uh, yeah, an I. Maybe this is also an I. Uh, or maybe this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I can't. I can't read it. I always try. People tell me. People always tell me in the comment section uh, what they are. Ghost Angel. I know you've tried. NY0117. Um, I th was it you or was it Neo Sylvanus that uh, that tried as well? People have tried to teach me, uh, and I can sometimes remember some, some, some letters. But even if I did, even if I knew what this said in uh, sort of what if what would I, if I knew the romanization, would I still be able to tell it? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I would be able to tell. I won't. I don't think I really would be able to tell it. Um, you know, there's no three, so this doesn't say Nizni, which, uh, which would be nice if it did. I mean, it kind of looks like it, but I, I don't think it really does. Um, uh, I can't, I can't do it. Uh, so let's just keep going, uh, let's just keep going down. Now, uh, there is one thing that I should remember, and that's what the, the backwards N, I think the backwards N means we are in Russia and not in Ukraine. Because if we were in Ukraine, it would be an I. Is that correct? I think that's one thing I might remember. So I think we must be in just Russia. So I think I've got that. Um, I, I might be wrong about that, but that's what I'm going to go on. Where in Russia are we? Uh, I'm going to go I'm going to go close to uh, close to Belarus on this one uh, for almost no reason other than other than I don't know. I mean, it seems it seems like that's an all right guess. Um, sure, should we say we're like close to Solmensk? I mean, it's not it's not like, it's not a great guess now, is it? Uh, sure. Let's go. Say say we're near Kratovo. I think that's I think that's a that's a better guess right there. Let's go place ourselves like I don't know right there, and uh, that's that's where I'm gonna say we are. Honestly, it's probably not a great guess, but. Uh, uh, that uh, those are my thoughts, and uh, let's find out uh, how close we are to that. No, we were on the other side of Moscow. You know, in Russia was indeed correct. 445 kilometers isn't that bad of Russia. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, look at that. See, so it's not that bad. But uh, we were actually on the other side of it, near near these places. I mean, there you go. Um, there you go. 3740. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. So, what have we got here? We've got, uh, we've got a vehicle. Um, what does this say? Sky. Okay, so that means we are in the UK. Oh, we're not in the UK. Uh, but, uh, there you go. Uh, that'd, that'd be pretty funny. I mean, Sky's a TV channel, right? They don't, they, you can't, you can't get, like, satellite dishes that says, like, uh, that says, that's a Sky on them. I'm, I'm assuming you can't. This one says Va TV or Vo TV. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing this is Brazil, uh, to be to be honest. I, I can't really tell, 
and I would need to see a little bit more to to be able to figure that out. Now this could be this could be Mexico. This could be a lot of places. Uh, it's just it's it's very very difficult to to figure that out. Actually, it is Mexico. Uh, why we got pickup trucks and North American styled license plates, which you do not find in uh, in in Brazil. So this is Mexico. Uh, if it is Mexico, I'm gonna guess southern Mexico. Um, that sounds about right. Google Street View. Yep, it says it right there. Southern Mexico sounds right to me. Yeah, look at all these Chevrolets, big pickup trucks. Um, okay, and we're just we're just nearing a dead end. Damn it, we went the wrong way. But uh, at least we saw the license plates; those helped. Uh, Southern Mexico, I think, it really because it doesn't really look like Northern Mexico. Northern Mexico is very desert-like, mountains, very much much more dry than this is. Uh, and I mean, there are mountains, but they're not like uh, super big. So I don't think we're like I don't think we're down near Guadalajara. I don't think we're in central Mexico. I think we are in southern Mexico, kind of near like Guatemala and this area over over here. Uh, I have almost nothing, no reason to go on that, but uh, that's what that's why I'm saying. I mean, I'm seriously very bad at these guesses, um, but uh, but there you go. Toyota pickup trucks. I mean, these license plates uh, look too much. I mean, they don't look too much. They they are North American style license plates, so that's why I'm guessing that. Uh, cheap hair. Uh, interesting. Got some Fanta. Uh, what does this say? Uh, Hoy con el sabor natural de tononja. Okay, I can't really tell uh, what that says. These guys are just chilling out over here. Uh, anyone can be flying some uh, nice Mexican flags that I could see. I'd be happy to see those. Um, that'd be that'd be useful. One thing. One thing about uh, you know, f one thing about Fuji you can't find good in uh, in Canada is good Mexican food and or good Tex-Mex. Hard to find in Canada. Also, good barbecue is kind of hard to find in Canada as well. Uh, although it is findable, there's usually like only one place that does it properly, and it's like out of the way. Uh, and, and there is no good places where I live that do barbecue. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to make my guess. Um, Lorenzo for president, Pan. Uh, we were much more north. Actually, we were close to Guadalajara. I specifically mentioned I didn't think we were close to Guadalajara. Well, guess what? We were actually quite close to Guadalajara. Um, I've been to Puerto Vallarta before, uh, which is why I say that, because it doesn't look like Puerto Vallarta. But, uh, you know, uh, it's, um, you know, there you go. It's close to Guadalajara. It was a place called Tuxcueca, or near a place called that. It was... I don't, well, it was this place. It has no name, but the, the places don't always need to have names, do they? Twenty-two ninety-nine. Ooh, very beautiful beach. And uh, now, we, uh, since we're in the regular challenge, uh, I can use uh, the clue of the name of the person who took the picture, which is Artist Adit F Fisher, which doesn't help me because that, uh, I think, uh, is a Finnish or Estonian name. And uh, that doesn't help me at all because this is not in Finland or in Estonia. It could also not be. Just Fisher with two eyes makes me imagine that it's uh, either Finnish or Estonian. Any Finnish or Estonian viewers uh, in uh, the uh, that are watching can either confirm or deny. Uh, you know where it, my my hunch about that name, and uh, there you go. Now you guys might notice that in the uh, in the daily challenges, so the time when you guys have to guess, I do block out these names down there, which honestly gives me an advantage because I always read them and I always make my guesses uh, kind of based on them. Uh, but it, you know, for the purposes of making it all equal to you guys, and so you don't uh, just Google whoever's name it says down in the corner uh, to be right on the daily challenges. That's why I haven't blocked off. Uh, so yeah, that that's. That's why sometimes I'm able to get to pretty close on some sort of weird pictures. But uh, most of the times the names don't help, including this location, which the name doesn't help. Now, something about this uh, this architecture right here says something along the lines of, like, Thailand is coming to mind. Um, if I had to guess, uh, maybe, maybe uh, Sri Lanka would be really cool if we were there. I won't, I want to guess Sri Lanka, but I don't think so because I mean, look at see, we're like in a big like basin. We're like uh, we're like in an inland basin of some sort. Maybe camp? No, I don't think we're in Cambodia. We're like uh, we're like somewhere like around here, perhaps. Uh, geez. uh I kind of feel like placing it right there. I don't know. I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna be my guess. 
I don't really know where to put us, so I'm going to put us right there. I think I'm going to be completely wrong, but uh, let's go try and make that. Oh, we were in Indonesia. Okay, well, uh, that's, a, that's a really tough one. And we weren't even... Oh, okay, I guess we what we were seeing was... Not really what we were seeing. Oh, I see all of this is what we were seeing. Okay, I get I get where we were. So we were on the open ocean, um, but there you go. Java Cove Beach. Wow, well, that's a very beautiful beach. And uh, there you go, uh, 19... 17.8 1431 kilometers that's a that's a tough one to get a lot of red earth here which is very tough um so now we've got uh alexandra tochin which is uh i mean that's a that's a this is a really tough one as well where is this well the red earth the the red earth says Australia, but the look of the place says no. Could be northern Queensland, maybe, but I seriously don't think it is. I don't think we're in Australia at all. I think we are in, um, I think we are in, um, I think we're in, like, French Guiana or something along those lines, or maybe Suriname, I think we're in one of these two countries, because it just reminds me of maybe Brazil, maybe northern Brazil, if I had to guess. And uh, because the name is, uh, is is French, at least, it uh, could be, the very first name could be French, because of the R-E instead of the E-R. And uh, because Brazil looks like this, but Brazil has a lot of street views, so I'm going to rule it out, because I think it's a more fun location. By more fun, I don't mean that Brazil's not fun, just that uh, Brazil is... Uh, very common in GeoGuessr, and since this is a still picture, it could be anywhere in the world. So let's uh, let's say um, let's say French Guiana, uh, and uh, let's go with. Uh, I mean, wouldn't it be cool if it was French Guiana? I think it'd be freaking awesome if it was. Let's go with like right around here, and I could be totally wrong. Why don't we see? I'll probably be like a billion kilometers off. Let's make the guess, and absolutely like a billion kilometers off. It was New Caledonia. Okay, Australia would have been a better guess. Northern Queensland, I did mention. Uh, we weren't there. We were in New Caledonia. Got zero points. Very, very, very far off. Uh, right over here in... Oh, okay, okay. This is new. This is a French area. I didn't know. I didn't know that, uh, that, this, that this was a French area. Yeah, it's true. Uh, the French did do a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, colonization over there, French Polynesia and other things. New Caledonia, also a French area. Um, you can see uh, this right here, uh, National Park of the Blue River, or Blue River National Park. Uh, but I was just uh, translating the French stuff right there. Uh, a lot of French stuff going on over here. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Like, I didn't know this area was French. So uh, yeah, I mean, we got the French part down, but uh, wrong place. French Guiana is not new Caledonia, very cool. Well, let's get the let's get the last one underway, and this looks like just America to me. Uh, I don't have very many points, so this is going to be a bad round, unfortunately. You know they do happen. America or Canada could be Canada. Uh, hopefully, I can figure that out. Uh, recycling green bins and stuff. Um, nothing is currently telling me where we are in the world. But maybe there's going to be some good stuff somewhere. If we look at the, the science, speed limit 25, so it's America. That's good to know. Where in, uh, yeah, waste management, that's fine. That's everywhere. Got a nice American flag. Beautiful. And where are we going? Well, I mean, these, these roads don't really look like they're helping that much. Let's keep going this way and seeing if we can uh, make a guess. Where would this be? Where would a place like this be? I don't know, this could almost be anywhere, can it? A big, no, nothing, nothing is, nothing is sticking out for me as to where a place like this could be. This could almost be anywhere in the world, couldn't it? I mean, not anywhere in the world, anywhere in the U.S. Where specifically is super hard to tell. I mean, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just not familiar with it. West or East Coast, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a, a bit. It's not well. Okay, uh, they got a boat, so it's a, a lakey area. Lots of lakes in sort of uh, the northeast. Uh, are how many lakes? Yeah, the, the the the. I mean, there's lots of lakes everywhere. Shit, but I mean, there's a lot of lakes in the northeast because I mean, just look how many lakes. Just look how many lakes are in like in 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 this area over here. You know, like okay, like there's a, there's a crap ton of lakes over there. Let's go over down to. Uh, 
down somewhere a little bit more west, and uh, I mean, still like a lot of lakes over here. Uh, you know, over here, not so many, not so many, not oh, really not a lot here. And then you go all the way over down to, I mean, where the hell are we? Over to here, and there's really not as many. So I'm going to go with sort of this area over here, um, New Hampshire, maybe, just solely based on the fact that these people have a boat. Um, you know, there you go. Um, you know, my parents have a boat, you know, some, something, uh, something, yeah, something kind of like that one right there. They, they have, a, they have a cottage. Uh, that uh, that they go to and ride a, ride along on a, a nice little a nice little boat like that. So um, yeah, I mean that's the kind of thing people do, right? So you know I I get it. It's it's all right. It's not. I mean it's never really been my bag of tea. Uh, to be honest, didn't really have it when I was a kid. You know my family didn't have a cottage or a boat when I was a kid. It's sort of a new addition for them. Uh, this 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 boat and, and cottage life now that uh, now that they're they, you know my parents are uh, now older so when I was a kid we didn't really have that so I you know never really never really got into it then but now that uh, now that my parents are older they're they're, they're really into that stuff uh, so you know they're at the cottage all the time boating all the time doing that kind of stuff so uh, yeah I mean that's that's just what they love to do and I didn't even make a guess I didn't even realize my time was out and shit we weren't oh my god I can't believe it I got lost in the story. And didn't even guess upstate New York, which is where my guess would have been. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. I can't believe it. I would have gotten a good score there, too. Oh, man. I'm so salty right now. I can't believe I got lost in a stupid story about how my parents love to ride boats and how, you know, I live in this area over here. And that kind of shit happens here. People have cottages and boats and lakes. And I said we're probably around here in this area in New York. And then we were. Oh, that is devastating. That is really, really sad. Well, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. At least I mentioned it. And there you go. So I got zero points on that one. That's just sad. 7470. Could have definitely gotten more than 10,000 on that one. Uh, what happened here? Well, you know, the score is not, not the big... What happened here? Well, we got uh, we got uh, a nice old Russia one. Uh, it was all right, I guess, closer to Belarus than it really was. We got a Mexico one. It was more central, I guess, southern. Uh, we had a nice uh, Indonesia one. It was still picture, I guess, Thailand. We had a uh, nice New Caledonia one, I guess, French Guiana. And then finally, we had uh, probably one of the... Re uh, we had a redeeming one, upstate New York. And guess who threw... This guy pointing at myself with two thumbs as I realize I got lost in a story and lost track of time because I suck so much. I, I mean, I, I spent time trekking across the country. Look how many lakes were in Idaho. What a, what a silly decision that was. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, this is like maybe the second or third time I've ever actually done that. And, but that's that's pretty good track record in like, what, 191 episodes? Pretty good. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, regardless of the throws. Uh, and uh, as always, I will see you guys next time, which is actually a daily challenge tomorrow. Uh, not a daily challenge, a viewer challenge tomorrow. So those are always exciting as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Oh yeah, cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.